Hi guys and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what messages you're being urgently guided to with regards to your connections. So I want you to spend some time here and focus your energy on your special person, your romantic interest and we'll go ahead and we'll see what the cards here perhaps predict for the future of this connection or what you might need to know about this person or just any general messages that you might need to know about yourself or this person this connection here it is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind if you are after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire i will list my email address below the video here um, also, I just want to, before I go ahead, I just want to say that I believe if you've clicked on this reading, then I definitely feel like there's something here that's brought you here, okay? Um, there's definitely, I feel like there's definitely something in here for you, a message or two that might speak to you, okay? Maybe on a soul level, on a heart-to-heart -heart level. Basically, I feel like the things that we're drawn to and the people that we're drawn to are not random, okay? So... I don't believe it's a coincidence. I feel like if you've clicked on this reading, then I feel like some of these messages, if not all, are meant for you in your ears. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and let's begin. I will be shuffling the cards and we'll see um, what messages they reveal. Okay, we've got a few. We've got the Four of Swords here, the Page of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and that flew out, but in reverse, guys. Okay. So... And then bottom of the deck, you have the full card here. And the full is the ultimate surrender here. Okay, so some of you, I feel like you need to let go of something. There's something here that I feel like you're holding on a little bit too tightly here. Um, the reason why you're holding on, why you're holding on so tightly, I feel like is because you're scared for fear of losing it. For fear of this very person or this very thing eluding you for fear of missing out but it's that very fear that I feel like will keep you paralyzed and will keep you um, shackled here so you need to let go because as cliche as that sounds whatever is meant for you will come to you okay and even if you let that very person or that very thing go out into the world it will come back and it will naturally gravitate towards you here so the full card i definitely feel like is telling you to let go but in doing so have faith okay whoever it is that you pray to whoever it is or whatever it is that you believe in have faith have faith that everything is working out for you okay because this is at the end of the day this is what the fool is all about okay there is a myth that goes uh notice how he's on the edge of the precipice about to take a plunge down into the abyss right but there's a myth that uh says something like because of his complete faith in his actions and in the universe and what's destined for him that the cliff tends to regenerate beneath his feet and i like that because i feel like that is a very great reminder to just have faith you don't have to see where you're going okay you don't have to know what's going to be your next two to three moves from now all you have to do is just trust trust in yourself and trust that everything is working out for you even if you don't have evidence of this showing up in your life just yet okay now what other messages that are coming through for you here so i'm just going to put that here because i feel like some of you you need to be this is something you might have forgotten here and you just needed to be reminded of that okay now for some of you you've got the four okay the four of swords is definitely a wounded kind of energy there's a wounded soldier here that lays at rest it's a very withdrawn kind of energy so i can see that someone here whether yourself or your person that you're um, romantically connected to 
is definitely a wounded soldier, okay? They may carry pains within them that they have not shared with you, okay? And it's not to say that they're keeping secrets, but some pains can be, some wounds here can be very painful to talk about, okay? Because they can resurface um, certain emotional triggers and certain memories. It can be very difficult to, um, to relive again. So I feel like your person is hurt. So if they do act, your person, maybe this is your energy. You'll have to take it as it resonates with you. Um, someone here is hurt rather. And I feel like if this person is someone who's a little bit closed off and a little bit guarded, don't interpret that as someone being cold and distant. However, I feel like it, this person is wearing emotional armor to protect their sensitive and fragile heart. They've been hurt in the past, so they know that other people are unfortunately, you know, capable of pain, are capable of hurting people, of betrayal, deceit, backstab, um, you know, breaking someone's heart, disloyalty. So they're aware of that, which is why they wear this heavy emotional armor to protect themselves, okay? So it's important for you not to interpret their coldness or, you know, the fact that they're closed off as guarded as someone who isn't interested in you. They are, but then at the end of the day, they also are interested in protecting themselves here. Okay, I see that with the Page of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you, there is some sort of uh, message that is coming in. Okay, now, it's, it might not be what you think. This message might be delivered from your romantic energy here. You might be the one on the delivering end, though. You might be the one on the receiving end. I do feel like there is some sort of a message, a romantic proposal, or an offer that is coming for you. Now, it is destined for you. So either it is destined to arrive to you, or it's destined to you know, be delivered from you, okay, and what's meant for you will not miss you, so there is some sort of message that comes in for a lot of you, it is a message that is going to take you by a surprise, a pleasant surprise, purely because you might have not expected someone to open up, or someone to say, or, you know, ask you out, or propose some sort of romantic proposal, um, in the way in which they do, but I do feel like it's a very pleasant surprise, and will definitely sort of um, catch you off guard a little bit, but, I do feel like whatever this message is, this offer or this message, this is going to, um, I feel like it's going to be a new beginning of some sort. Either that, either it's going to mark a significant turning point in your relationship, in your connection with someone, or maybe just even in your life here. Or I feel like it's going to mark the beginning of something, the beginning of something wonderful here, the beginning of something very like novelesque and very fair, fairy tale here. Um, so I'm just basically, I'm just, uh, relate, relaying to you, to you all the messages that I feel like, sh um, strongly need to reach you. Okay. With the two of wands, I feel like, and the queen of wands, I feel like this is a reminder that for some of you, especially for those of you who feel like you're stuck or you're in a relationship that, you know, is not growing or not flourishing, or you just feel like your energy is overall stuck. I feel like the two of wands here is a reminder that you always have a choice, okay? And if you do feel stuck, maybe without you necessarily knowing it on a subconscious level, you're choosing to stay there. So just keep that in mind. You always have a choice. And when you do commit to a choice, also be reminded that you also commit to the consequences of the choice. So you do have a choice. You're always free to choose as well. And for those of you I feel like who feel like you're stuck or you know something is not growing or something is not manifesting, it's not happening in the way that you want, maybe it's the way you're going about it. Okay, if you've always if you've always done what you've done, you'll always get what you get, right? It makes sense. So maybe try and do things differently, try and take a different approach, a different angle. Um just do things differently and see if that will yield different results. I guarantee you it probably will. So for some of you, the reason why you're stuck is because you're holding on to certain patterns that keep generating the same results. If, if you keep doing the same thing, you'll keep getting the same results. If you keep dating the same type of person, you'll get the same type of relationship, the same type of outcome, right? It actually makes sense. It's logical. So for a lot of you, you're not stuck. You're kind of choosing to stay there, okay? So maybe you just sort of need to step back a little bit and um, just reevaluate your choices or your decision making here. 
Now with the Queen of Wands, for a lot of you, especially for those of you that are listening to this and you're single or in, you're in the early stages of a connection here, the Queen of Wands is telling me that love is about to show up on your doorstep here. So even if you're not looking for something, I feel like sometimes even if you don't look for, if you don't go out looking for something, some things are just seeking you and they will seek you out. So for some of you, I do feel like there's a new romantic prospect here on the horizon. Um, so a new love here, a new budding romance is about to develop and is about to take center stage in your life. For others of you, this is someone whom you're already connected with, but I feel like there's going to be progression here with the Knight of Cups, okay? Once again, I'm seeing, and I feel like that's sort of echoed on from the Page of Cups, I'm seeing that there may be a connecting energy here, a strong water or a fire energy here, whom I feel like has feelings for you. But they've never really opened up to you or they've never really shared this with you. So I feel like there's something here about this energy in which they feel like now's a good time for one reason or another. So someone here does have an emotional message to deliver to you, a romantic offer, a proposal. So just to give you an idea, it could be something like this person wants to ask you out, they want to take you out, this person wants to open up and tell you they're romantically interested for in you. Or they are falling for you or they're already you know madly deeply in love with you so it is something that I feel like it's a mess emotional love offer or emotional love message that I definitely feel like is either being directed towards you or you're the one that's if you're not the one receiving it then you are the one delivering it now for some of you I feel like it could also be a friendship here that turns romantic in the next couple of I'm gonna say the next couple of months here and the thing is I feel like you guys have always known you've had feelings for each other but something about this particular timing like right now as I do the reading feels like it feels right okay and I feel like so much of life comes down to timing okay and we don't always you know we don't always well a lot of the time we don't we don't get to you know we don't get to choose the right timing sometimes we have to make the timing work for us here right but there's just something about this particular point in time which just it just fits it feels natural and organic and which is why i feel like this is all happening now as opposed to earlier or later here for a lot of you i feel like um you even like for those of you single or coupled up i know that i can pick up very strongly that you've had the idea of either building more of a solid relationship or a solid connection with someone or the idea of uh, like working together, moving in together, buying a house, starting a family, getting married, getting engaged, you know, playing house. So you've had ID, you've had this ID on your mind for quite some time here, okay? And for a lot of you, that's, you have to realize that, you know, that's slowly coming to fruition here. Because what you have with this person, okay, for those of you that are in a relationship, what you have with this first person is a very strong foundation for all the things that you want to manifest here. So it's a very strong foundation for a family should you choose to have one. For those of you who are single, it's just important for you to be, you know, reminded that it's very important that before you go ahead and, you know, um, get ready for all of these things that you do desire it's very important to not rush that process and build a strong foundation like a very strong foundational structure with your energy there is a harmonious the ten of pentacles there is a harmonious energy here that i feel like like a harmonious wind here is going to blow in um for all, those of you in a relationship i feel like a very harmonious uh relationship between you and a romantic interest for those of you that have been thinking about marriage or living together i see i even see families joining him not for all but for some i see families joining blending coming together here now the four of wands in the corner here is the only card that's come up in reverse here and this is well it's conflict it's a bit of um you know it's an unstable kind of energy here a little bit of hiccups here um it might indicate that Whatever it is that you're going through, you might have to take a step back and evaluate whether your decisions right now are the decisions that you make right now, as we spoke about earlier, the choices and decisions are something that I feel like is serving you in your best interest, okay? Because I feel like whether you decide to do this thing or not, whatever it is, whether you decide to, you know, go ahead with this, take action or not, 
ultimately your decisions here lead to your destiny okay so for a lot of you and I, I'm very drawn to the fact that it has come up in reverse here the decisions right now here will lead to your future will lead to your destiny here so what you do today and what you decide on doing today does matter and it matters greatly you know it will affect your tomorrows and the future of your tomorrows here so it I feel like for a lot of you it you know it's about having to there's still hope for some of you even if you've made some decisions which you regret or which have hurt you and which have caused some damage here there's still hope here for things to get back on track there's still hope for a better tomorrow for those of you that are dealing with a sudden end or a marriage um that has been going strong for years here i do feel like there's still hope you know you can like you can move your way through this rough patch there's still hope for things to either get reconciled or get back on track here some of you also feel like it's about having to assert your boundaries here so for those of you especially if you feel like very drained and very exhausted and you feel like you're always doing something for everyone else here you have to learn to assert your boundaries and don't let the opinion of other people affect you and how you see yourself and what you think of yourself because ultimately other people's opinions of you is not really your business is it so if you do feel a little bit drained a little bit depleted whether on physical emotional mental energy it's because you don't have firm and rigid boundaries and people with that firm and rigid boundaries they tend to get walked all over or they tend to get taken advantage of so for a lot of you, it's it's about having to assert the boundaries here. With that necessarily, you know, thinking about how it's going to affect someone's opinion of you. Because ultimately, you know, you, you, that shouldn't matter here. Okay? Alright guys, and these are the messages which I feel like um, were definitely meant to reach you. Okay? Um, I feel like the takeaway, I guess, is just to remind you that what are, like be very careful of your decisions and the choices that you make and give it some thought okay because ultimately those choices and those decisions here do lead to your destiny so just be mindful of that okay guys thanks again for listening and watching uh, for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to reach out and connect um, otherwise guys please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned bye for now